Hey everyone, welcome back. So we've made a discovery as to the problems we've been having in our surface finishes recently. And I wanted to show, you know, how we figured that out. And we don't really have a way to fix it yet, but I appreciate any ideas. So this part here is the current best surface finish we've achieved with the diamond turning lathe. As you can see, it's all right, but the thing to note is when we look at a reflection of the light in it, we see this uh, sort of graininess or haziness to it. Um, these radial rings, these striping. And in all of the parts we've done, like here's that sinusoid again, that's always been present to some extent. It looks pretty bad on camera, but if I look at the reflection of the light, you can see that haziness. We did some surface roughness testing on the sinusoids recently, and here's what that surface looks like. So the vertical scale here is in microns, um, and this got my spidey senses tingling because if we take a look at this other plot here, this is a plot of the z-axis positional noise floor from those those air bearing oscillations. I don't know about you, but I thought that looked a little too similar for comfort. If you also note the amplitudes are almost the same as well. Another cool thing is in the surface roughness, you can see there's a couple points where you see sort of these two small peaks next to each other. That shows up a decent amount throughout the, the plot. I think those two peaks there are actually the form of the diamond tool, which is what this, this guy is here. These, these two peaks on the tool imprinted into the part. Anyhow, that looks a little similar. So I decided to do a test where we face off another part and I actually cut the air to the Z-axis air bearings while it was facing. So it was held in position with the brake and the fact that there was no air, so it just sat there. And we faced off, and I took a cut, facing cut, with the exact same parameters as this part here. And this is the result. So if I look at the reflection of the light now, the problem is completely gone. There's a little bit of diffraction still, that's just because of the feed rate, but that haziness, completely gone. So this is a really interesting result. It's basically conclusively proved that what we're seeing here is a result of those vibrations uh, from the air bearings, which, note, have an amplitude of about one or two micro inches. So there's what one or two micro inches or 50 nanometers of vibration of your tool will do to your surface finish. Really crazy, but yeah, this is now the best finish that we've gotten uh, thus far. I've not had a chance to throw it on the profilometer yet, but I'm expecting that to be sub 10 nanometers um, for almost for certain. And I'm really pleased with that finish, but that kind of puts us in a sticky situation now because obviously we need air to the bearings to run the lathe. So we need to fix, fix this somehow, fix those oscillations. Um, not quite sure how to do that. We're looking into the internal structure of the air bearing to see if we can figure out a way to do this. Um, or maybe I'll just pump oil through it and see what happens, because that would fix it uh, immediately as well. But. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty, pretty crazy result, that that's what was causing the problem um, the whole time. And still, still quite pleased about the finish. So, interesting little sneaky, sneaky bit of uh, machine dynamics there that, that were plaguing us. But, yeah, uh, got any ideas? Let me know. Thanks for watching.